EABO is really an enabler. The purpose of tomorrow's mission is to get shooters far away from home bases, execute their mission of attriting targets, and then uh, returning to home bases after that. In this specific scenario, the way that we're doing that is through multiple fuel sources that are driven and gifted by MAG-41 aircraft. So totally within the MAG, we're able to support long legs to get shooters to an objective area, uh, the shooters being F-18s and H-1s. So C-130s are supporting for some of the aerial delivered ground refueling for the H-1s, as well as MV-22 Ospreys. So both of those support aircraft are making sure that the H-1s and the F-18s can make it to the objective area, do their jobs of shooting the bad guys, and then return to their home base. With Force Design 2030 and looking forward towards kind of what our threats are for those kind of stations, we can't have those massive buildups of air bases and FARPs all over the place, right, because they're uh, vulnerable. So the way that we get around that is to have rapidly deployable and then rapidly recoverable sources of fuel, ammunition, whatever it may be. We're also using the TAGR system, Tactical Air Ground Fueling System, uh, that is designed to be mobile and easily transportable and then easily hidden so that we can get in, get fuel, and have that fuel source disband before it can be targeted by the enemy. What we're trying to get towards is a more lethal force in the sense that we can displace somewhere, quickly execute fires aggressively against the enemy, and then get out of the way before large-scale retaliatory fires. Occur.